Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Mommy Santini and this video we're going to talk about AP exam season. Last year was my first time taking an AP exam and one of the things that I struggled with the most was how do I study for it? I've been taking notes the whole year, but not what? So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I'm going to do in detail to study for my six APs. The video is going to be divided into three parts. So the first part is going to be me going into detail on how I'm going to study for each of my classes with like specific plans. The second part is going to be my schedule for how I'm going to divide my time throughout this month until my exam. And the third part is going to be tips and things that I wish I do before I took my AP exam. This year, I will be taking six AP exams. So I'm going to be taking AP Psych, AP US Government, AP Lang, AP Physics 1, AP Precalculus, and then I'm also going to be taking an exam in my Portuguese class, which it's not really an AP, it gives you the AP boost, it's kind of complicated, but I still have to study for that test, so I'm going to include that in here. Originally, I was supposed to be taking seven AP exams, I was supposed to also be taking AP Comparative, but there's recently been like a shift in my school in which we've been exchanging teachers, we currently don't have a teacher for that, it's kind of like this whole mess, so I'm going to end up not taking that AP exam. So for this video, I'm going to be talking about the six tests that I'm going to take, but more specifically, the five AP exams I'm going to take. The first AP exam I'm going to take is AP Psych. AP Psych is a class that I love, and it's one of the classes that I'm really shooting for a high number because I love it so much and because I also might take it in college. One of the good things about that class is that I've been very attentive and been very good at taking notes and kind of like learning the material. So I've been doing really well on the tests and FRQs, which is really good because that shows to me that I've gotten used to the formatting of the questions questions and the formatting that the FRQ is. What I need to focus on for psych is memorizing the terms. It's like 800 and something terms and that's kind of like the hard part of psych. So what I'm doing is I'm using this AP Psychology book which my boyfriend used last year to study for AP Psych and he got a four in it. So I've been using this throughout the year and right now I'm reading through the whole book. So it's actually one of the things that it says in the book. They recommend you read through this book when you're learning the subject throughout the year and then you read it again two months before the AP exam. And then another thing is that, so throughout the year, my teacher posts um, Quizlets. So after I read through the entire unit on this book, I practice on the Quizlet, and then my teacher also uh, posts practice tests for each unit. So after the Quizlet, I take a practice test, and then I just see how well I've been doing. So that's what I'm doing for each unit in psych. Next up, we're gonna be talking about AP Lang. AP Lang is one of those things that, it's kind of hard to study for. It's not like you're learning any like subject, you're learning how to write the essay you're learning how to do the MCQ part. So for this, I'm not really that worried because of the fact that I'm really strong in English. SAT, SAT section, I'm really strong in that. And I think that's really transferred over on the MCQ part of the AP exam. So I feel pretty confident about the MCQ. So this is one of the AP exams that I'm not gonna focus that much time on it. But what I am gonna do is I am gonna review the kind of like rubric for each essay. And also something that I've been doing is I signed up for the New York Times newspaper and I'm like kind of looking at the they post because my teacher said that would help us in the argumentative essay that way hopefully I can read something that'll help me with that next up AP Gov so originally I was supposed to take AP comparative and AP Gov which kind of go together because they're both governments but I'm just gonna be taking AP Gov this year the hard part about AP Gov is that you learn all of it in the first semester and then you stop learning it so what I'm doing is Heimler posted this 30-day review schedule and every day it's like three videos for you to review so that's what I'm doing like every day I'm looking at the videos and then I'm taking notes so so I title it like topic 1.4 which is uh, what the videos are called and what their names on the 30-day schedule it doesn't have to be perfect and it's like I'm gonna look over these but, but the reason why I'm taking the notes is because writing helps me remember so this has helped me so much I'm already done with unit 1 which is really good and it's he's just really good at explaining things in a way that makes them stick next up is AP pre-calc I'm a little nervous about the exam because nobody has ever taken the AP pre-calc exam what I'm gonna do is I have the the book, The Baron's Review of AP Precalc, because I really need this. AP Precalc, there's actually not that much stuff you need to know for it. The unit only has three units, so it's really not that much to cover, and they kind of built on itself. I'm gonna start taking notes kind of like how I do for my usual, like what I'm studying for an exam. I go over the notes on the textbook, I draw it out the important parts. Um, here you can see as well I draw it out and then after each chapter is over I write this one page of the most important things I need to remember so this would be like what I keep getting wrong or things that I easily forget so I'm gonna dedicate um, certain days to write notes on the lessons and then other days to practice next up AP physics one how I'm gonna study for it is I will be looking at review videos so if you go on AP classroom 
and you go on whatever course you're taking they have these review videos per unit they have these videos that teach you the lessons but if you go on this place called review and you press on it they have one review per unit and they're one hour long which is great so i'm gonna dedicate like i'm gonna watch it all at once per unit and then i'm gonna dedicate time to practice it with like practice quizzes and practice problems that i'm gonna search up online so i can review everything that's how i'm gonna plan for physics so i'm gonna take notes relearn it and then do some practices on it all right so that's how i'm gonna study for each subject individually now i'm gonna be talking about my schedule on notion i have created this master schedule of how i'm gonna study for each day and i'll be showing on the screen as i'm talking for ap gov i'm using the 30 day highland review it's free by the way he posted a video this year that was like hey guys i'm actually gonna post a 30 day review just just download it from my description and that's what I did it's supposed to start April 6 I know we passed that already but they take like 30 minutes like each day the three videos combined is like 30 minutes max and that's if you're pausing it and taking notes so you can easily do like the first four videos in like two days so each day you can see it on my calendar I have like AP gov day one AP gov day two and then I just uh, check them out that's what i'm doing for ap gov and it's gonna be a review every day until the ap exam for ap psych the way that i decided how many days i'm going to dedicate to each unit is actually through this book so it has this page where it shows you how much you should divide your study time per unit and this is like a 40 something day schedule and i don't have 40 days because i started uh, studying for this like 35 days before the ap exam because i don't have the specific amount of days that this adds up to i'm not gonna study a social psychology i made that decision because i'm learning social psychology right now so it's like fine it'll be like fresh in my mind and i'll just like review it not for four days like maybe one so yeah i mean unit one was five days and like for the first three i read the book which is very long so it took me three days like an hour 30 minutes each day i did like a day of quizlet just like just hardcore quizlet and then the other day i reviewed quizlet for like 10 minutes and then i took an like a fake exam just on that unit so i could see if that memory kind of stuck and i'm officially done with unit one it's been very effective and it doesn't feel like it's too much on my plate i'm gonna add ap lang this weekend because this weekend i'm gonna take two hours to start studying for ap lang i actually have enough weekends to review one type of essay per weekend and then i might do some practices during those two hours and then as you can see here on my schedule so i'm gonna start at physics april 28th because of the fact that the ap exam for physics is may 17th it's like the last day of ap exam the days that i'm taking ap exams i don't have to go to school for that day so it's like half the day i'm taking the ap exam but then i have the other half just to study so even though it's two weeks it's like kind of like equivalent to the four weeks I'm studying for AP Psych because I'm gonna have way more hours in a day because I'm not gonna be taking any other quizzes. I'm not gonna be learning any other lessons. I'm not gonna have homework. So I have more time to dedicate to it. Right now I'm studying for AP Gov and AP Psych while taking quizzes and learning new subjects because they haven't stopped teaching it. So once they stop teaching it is when I'm gonna start studying for AP Pre-Calc and AP Physics. For AP Pre-Calc, the last test I'm gonna have on the lesson that we've been learning is April 19th. So after I take my test on the 19th, the 20th, I'm gonna start reviewing for AP Pre-Calc. Another thing I took into consideration was the order of my AP exam. So as you noticed, my first AP exam is AP Gov, my second is AP Psychology, then I have Pre-Calc, English, and AP Physics. So I'm kind of studying in that order. So that is the way my schedule has worked out, even though it looks like a lot, it is. But this is the way you gotta do it. A lot of people start studying two months before the AP exam, but life happens. And also, studying while learning lessons in the, the same class is really hard. So even though I wish I would have started earlier, I feel like it's gonna be really great when they just stop teaching and I can, and it's just like review. I feel like that's when I'm gonna be able to get the most done. So I kinda like this plan. So that's it for the schedule. Now we're gonna go into the third part and I'm gonna be talking about tips. I feel like one of the things that if you've never taken an AP exam before, you should take into consideration is is for you to start studying with time before your AP exams because you cannot rush this. You have to start studying now. Like if you're watching this video and you haven't started studying yet, use this as a wake up call to start now. Because it's not even about the long term um, effects of starting to study for a long time. You need to be confident in what you're doing. And if you start reviewing things three days before your exam, you're not gonna be confident and that's kinda gonna make you do worse. The second thing, you have to be realistic with yourself. It's like the whole year is your test trial for how you study well for these exams. So take that into consideration. If you're not good at memorizing things for psych, that's what you should be focused on because that's a big portion of the of the test. And take that for everything. I mean, if you're not that good at, at math, study more for those subjects. 
Another thing is to not let stats scare you. When people post how hard each exam is, don't let that scare you because that's not a reflection of who you are. That's a reflection of who everybody in the whole world that took the AP exam is. If you've been studying for it, you're gonna do great. So don't focus on stats like that that are gonna scare you. Another thing that's really important is to look online on the College Board website and look at the rubric for everything. This is gonna help you out, especially because sometimes tests change and like teachers don't realize it. Understanding what's on the rubric that College Board has decided you need to do is really important if you wanna get a good grade. And also looking at examples. So like the Psych FRQ, if you look at how they format it with like bullet points or whatever, that can give you a visual of how you could do it. And that can also make it less scary because you can see, oh wait, it's super short. That's all my tips. Overall, you guys are gonna do great. If you're watching this video, you're already on the right path because you're thinking of how you can study beforehand and how you can use your time wisely to get the best out of the month or the two weeks you have before the AP exam. Trust yourself, trust your gut, you're gonna do great. I believe in you guys. Comment down below the AP exam you guys are gonna be taking this year. I'm curious to know if anyone else is also taking the AP exams that I'm taking. Also, I will be posting a video of me studying for my AP exams. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you're notified when more content like this comes out. I'll see you guys next time. Good luck on your AP exams. Bye.